Hello and welcome to the car repair bus again. This is the first video of the year. It's a Land Cruiser V8 2019 with a parking access problem. So let me show you what is on the dashboard and what we found and what we'll be doing on this car. So this is the problem we are parking park access to my function. Park access to my function and this is the code that we have. Uh, I'm not getting at this very clear. C one A E D current code. That's the rare parking assistance. So we'll be taking a look at it because they had an accident at the back. And if you are looking for the parking, the sonar control unit, that's it over there. I've done all my tests and everything. I just want to show you what was the fault. And don't forget, always remember to print your initial diagnosis report like this so they can keep it in case of anything you can go back to it. So we used to have all of these codes. But after we did the code erase, we, we, all of these things were able to be cleared except that particular code. That is a C1AED, which is still current. So let me take you to the rear of the car. Or you might be removing the bumper because it will be hard to fix it. But let me show you what we found. So this was where the impact was. And apparently this sensor is damaged. And that's why we have a lot of code concerning the uh, communication line. Uh, let me try to do Okay. Uh, it's too dark over there. Wish I could show you what exactly. Uh, let me get some light. So two light out. The bumper is now out and this is the diagram for the sensors so you can see all the sensors are connected in series so three input three output three input three output so moving from that sensor to the next one to the next one to the next one so if the first one is having any problem it will render the whole circuit inoperative and if this one too is having problem like this one that is broken that's the second sensor from the beginning of the circuit so that's why the rest of the two sensors are rendered useless which means you are having three sensors that are malfunctioning and the system cannot operate so let's go and test it and confirm so in order just to be on the surface side you want to confirm and see if the uh, the voltage are supposed to come through the sensors are all intact so we're supposed to have about 7.8 uh, get a few closer to 8 volts then it's like a uh, grounded side type of uh, sensor so you have uh, the right side and we have the left side this tool is for my lamps the lamps there the I think that they, that's for this this lamps you see the big wires that's the top ones so let's get the middle supposed to be grinding so that's the grinding we're supposed to have 7.9 so yeah closer to 8 volts i think that's okay and this one too is for the other side if the sensors are uh yes yeah, 7.4 7.9 yeah it's okay that's it that's it so let's get the sensor in then we'll see what goes on so one side is 7.8, the other side is supposed to be 7.8 and the middle is supposed to be grounding. So once you confirm this, which means from this side up to the ECU, the uh, the sonar or the clearance ECU, everything is perfect going there. But sometimes you can have short to secure to with the, uh, the middle one, that's the ground. If it is grounded to uh if it is grounded to ground let me say that way if it's grounded to ground you will still have a uh, negative 
and the middle one which is still going to make sense like everything is okay and everything will not be okay so let's check from here let's switch off the key i think we have to go to the stores So I've taken the broken sensor with the socket count. Let's try and get one. Let's scan the car and see if everything is going to work properly. So let me send it to the stores. So we are almost done with the diagnosis with the parking uh, parking sensors. So what you have to know about these sensors is uh, if you see with the six pin type which means it's connected in series so we have two voltages that will be there 7 point something 7 point something 7.8 7.45 or the two red and uh, is it green wires on toyota's and the other one will be the signal that's like a pull down circuit a uh, ground circuit so it's going to loop from each sensor to the other sensor so i'll go and show you what i'm talking about but let's first of all scan the car let's see whether we still have the codes but i'm sure the codes are gone because i'm not seeing the the warning sign on the dashboard anymore but let's check it so right now you can see what we have here i just unplugged the the ecu it's just beneath the glove box to do some other testing I did a, I made a mistake then it made me chase the rabbit down the hole instead of changing the sockets the right way I mistakenly flipped the socket position then I fixed it when I fixed I still have the same problem then later on I figured out that it was the socket that I changed that caused the problem so now you can see everything is history history and we don't have anything now and you can see the packing aid is on now you can see I own it there's no problem so let me try and put it into reverse uh, you see now you see now the sensors are working now you can see that everything is working now so this packing system they are very easy to diagnose let me show you the concept you know so from here from here the three wires came to this sensor which is going to be looped from this sensor then it will be looped to this sensor from this sensor to, to that sensor and this is the final sensor that's why the final sensor is having three wires only so when you get a voltage here it's supposed to be repeated at the other side of the wire so this is the input and there's output this one will have input three and the output three then passing to the next sensor three and the other side to three so when you test and you have all your voltages the two voltages and the one signal that is the middle one it's supposed to have it in all the sensors so any of the sensor that's not working like that you check the wiring or replace the sensor so i'll go and take care of this wire then you will basically be done with this one. <laughs> this is my friend. He <laughs> got <No> problem. <laughs> so we are done with the wire repair. You can see this is the only different socket and the rest are black. So this is the one we repaired. So we are setting the wire back. Make sure it goes where you remove it from. It's very key. I'm having a little bit of coal. Set it back. This goes to this lamp there. And that's it. So once you know the principle, diagnosing this type of problems will not be anything to you again. So let's check the sensors too. You can see now we are making improvement. You can see now it's the middle center sensors that are detecting an object now. Uh, let me go to the live data. Let's see what is there. Okay. 
So you can see. So when you have, when the sensors have problem or when the connections have problem, you are going to see open, open, open. But when the sensors are working, you are going to see undetected. That is if there's no object in front of it. So this is what we are talking about. So in order just to show you that the sensors are working, I don't know whether you can hear the sound. But if I close it, you hear. Can you hear that? The middle one. Yeah. Oh, I, can, I can even use this it's just to close this side. Okay, let's go and check. Yeah. Now you can see. I don't know what you can see. It's detecting something over there. And that's how it works. So I want to say thank you to all our subscribers and those watching this video right now. We have hit about 300 plus subscribers. Please keep liking and sharing the content so that we can go far. Thank you for watching and this is the Car Repair Hub once again. And this is the first video of the year. Happy New Year.